I don't know my my mythic stuff too well. Okay, what I'm going to do? Ah, there are enemies nearby, so I can rest. And I don't think I have any. I I don't think I have any potions to restore health either. So this is a little bit annoying because I cannot actually use my magic, and I cannot uh, because I cannot use my magic. I cannot heal myself. Uh, that's a potion that is actually worth a lot. I'm going to take that. And then there's a wooden door. Anyone in here? Is this actually... I'm guessing that is probably not a huge dungeon, all things considered. Hopefully I don't have to unlock any more, or open any more doors. Well, unlock rather, because... The unlocking part is the difficult part, because I actually need magic for that. Half health... And it's another one of those guys. I think I might be able to pull this off, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save before I do. Because there is the possibility... That I might actually... At least I'm hurting this guy, so... Maybe the silver is the answer. I mean, this guy isn't undead. This is... Daedra. A scamp. But maybe the silver is the answer. Who knows? Who the freak knows? Another scamp. Okay, yeah, this might actually end up being very deadly for me. Unless I can keep this guy stunned enough. Well, luckily I can block. Okay, that's another scamp down. Hopefully this place has something that is actually worth this. Because I'm actually... Can I actually... Now I can rest. That's nice. And I have ascended to level 5. Okay, uh, what do I need? Most definitely need endurance. I need... Um, uh, I need intelligence. I actually need a lot of intelligence because I'm starting to fall behind. And strength just to increase my carry capacity and also my my melee. So now I can carry a little bit more stuff. And carrying more stuff is always useful. So, uh, well, that looks interesting. That is definitely something. A cruel shard, shard bolt ring. So frost damage. I mean, I can carry that. I mean, sometimes I might need some additional magic attacks, and that might be something. Oh, an invisibility scroll. So that's um, 60 seconds of complete invisibility. So that's not even chameleon. That's just plain invisibility. And that might actually be worth something. Apparently there's ectoplasm on the floor, so maybe the scamp had a fight with a ghost, or something. Mm, this door is definitely open. And it's, I guess, blocked by that little... Oh, that's a trap chest. Not going to touch that quite yet. I first want to see if there's anything else that is not trapped. Uh, 36 lessons, Viv experiment went, uh, okay, that's actually, and light armor increase, well, that's nice. I'm definitely going to pick that up because it's actually worth something, so I might be able to sell that to the book trader in Balmora. Okay, as for, well, that's basically everything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save, because I don't know what this is. Uh, it's probably going to be either... Uh, a shock or poison, and if it's poison, I have the antidote right here. Okay, what is that? So that's silence. Silence basically just affects my ability to cast spells. So that's that doesn't really matter. And a ring of wounds, drain health. Mm, I mean, it has some charges, but it doesn't really. It isn't that effective. I'm just going to pick it up. Oh, an emerald. I could have easily missed that one. 
I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to check that. Yep. Just need to make sure that I don't have any other emeralds that I'm missing. And I might just have to actually check the area here, because there might be a similar thing. I don't really see any emeralds. And that's nothing. And this area probably has nothing. Uh, okay, well that was actually worth it. Okay, sure. Let's just get out of here. I'm just going to quickly check. Nothing is... There's basically nothing. Good, good, good. Uh, thank you. So this is why ancestral tombs are nice. They're actually fairly easy, they still have some stuff that is worth it. So... Just need to make sure that the freaking cliff racers don't kill me. They probably can't, uh, also. Definitely going to switch back to my Nordic broadsword, because this thing actually does... Well, technically the, the silver longsword can do 20 damage on a slash. It's just that the chop is just 14, whereas this is 18, so the broadsword is more balanced. And this has... The, especially on the slash, the minimum damage this does is actually fairly poor. And this cannot be... like the condition... the maximum condition of this longsword is actually worse than the maximum condition of my broadsword. So... It's not really worth it. I think like I think the broadsword is still like it's it's just more balanced. It, I think it works a little bit better. Okay, yeah, this is probably Hlaoad. And that doesn't really help me because there is no I don't think there is any like transportation from here to Balmora because Balmora isn't a it isn't a coastal city. So there is just no way to get a ship there. And I don't think Plowad has any particularly interesting uh, services either. I mean, I could probably check if there is like a shop here, but I don't think I'm going to get any good prizes. Like, you don't, you'd think that you would get better prizes in an actual city than just some random settlement like this. Yeah, these are just houses. Is there any like shop around here? Yeah, there's. Hlaad, yes I know. Uh, fat legs drop off, so maybe this is something. What? Uh, okay, sure. So what do you want? So barter. Oh, right. These guys don't actually want to trade with me because I have moon sugar on me. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just head for Balmora. I'm going to sell off that moon sugar, and. Uh, then I'm going to get rid of all my other stuff. I forgot that the moon sugar actually does stop me from trading at all. I knew that I wouldn't be able to sell that to these guys, but I didn't remember that they just stopped trading completely if you had any. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just follow the follow the river here, because the river leads all the way to Balmora. So it's a very easy way to just get back to Balmora. Also, who knows, maybe I will run into some other dungeon on the way there. But anyway, if I don't, I'll see you guys in Balmora. Okay, welcome to Balmora again. Um, so yes, what we're going to do first is we're going to head to the Mage's Guild, we're going to drop off the Moon Sugar, and then we're going to check all of the other shops that I might be able to sell some of my stuff to. I mean, the general shop probably accepts most of the stuff that I have, so I shouldn't really have any oh, issues as... What do you need? Uh, well, I, at the moment I don't really need anything, thank you. What I just need is my old friend here, uh, whose name I don't remember. But my friend is definitely here waiting for the next batch of moon sugar. And... Ajira Ajira. Hello, hello. You're going to get some moon sugar from me, and you seem to have enough gold for this. So, here's some. Apparently I will... Oh, that will actually get me... 
Well, sadly, that's actually... Okay, I'm actually going to take some of that back, thank you. And you're instead going to get my skooma, which I also happen to have some. The, th the problem here is really that I don't have enough... Well, you don't have enough money, so I'm basically... I'm bleeding you dry, but... Uh, well, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Well, I'm going to sell you some of this stuff. And that's still too much. Still too much. Well, I'm going to sell you... I'm, I'm going to be a little bit generous and I'm going to give you this for all of your gold. Yes. Yeah. We're actually getting really close to... Yeah, yes, yes, hello. Uh, the problem here is that I now need to get rid of all this other moon sugar that I have and the rest of the skooma. Because it's not like I'm going to use this. And I don't know who else to sell this. You have my so, um, this is going to be a bit of a problem because now nobody will trade with me unless I get rid of this Kuma. Will any of you buy this? Anyone wants Kuma? Okay, I'm going to go and look up this stuff a little bit. Okay, perfect. There is actually one trader that will, in addition to uh, Ajira, accept this in Balmora. If I want to sell any more though, particularly if that guy doesn't have enough stuff, well, money, then I will. I would have to go all the way to Vivek, basically, to get all of this stuff sold. I think Ravir lives here. Yes. And this guy should accept Skuma and Moon Sugar, hopefully. So yeah, let's just barter and um, how about some skooma? You have 600 gold, so basically I can sell you some, but I don't think you can buy all of the stuff that I have. And sadly I won't get as good prices from you as I would get from Ajira. Yeah, I'm not going to sell that much. I'm going to sell... No, I actually, I messed that up. Um, I think that's good enough, so you're going to get all of that. I still have some, I still have some moon sugar left. So what I'm going to do with the rest is I'm going to just drop it in the chest. I'm going to store it there, because I don't think anyone touches this. Um, uh, I don't need anything at the moment, thank you. Uh, I don't think anyone touches this, so I'm hoping that Ajira, Ajira doesn't just kind of place items in this content. Where the frick do I store all of this stuff? Uh, maybe I will store it in this barrel. I mean, yes, this is going to be my scuba barrel. So I'm going to just store the rest of this moon sugar here, and uh, when Ajira eventually get paid, gets paid, um, I'm going to sell all of that stuff back to them. So, um, anyway, here are the guild dues then. Um, yes, 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 yes. I have 200, uh, 2000 septim, so there you go. And yes, I didn't actually get my way to pay, but you know, I did my best. Uh, how about advancement? Oh, now I'm a voker. There we go, we have actually made it further. And do you have any duties? Oh, there is some guy offering unsanctioned training. Okay, we need to, yeah, let's, let's do this. Yeah, so some guy that is in part of the Mages Guild you know, tries to offer training in restoration, but because they're not part of the Mages Guild and are not paying their dues, they are not allowed, well, according to the major skill, they are not allowed to train restoration to anyone, so we need to convince them to stop. Because obviously the major skill has exclusivity on uh, on the the major, well, the magic thing. Yes, 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 I don't care. I need to go and talk to a bookseller because I have books to sell. So, uh, may I interest you in a book? or two. I have a couple of interesting books around here somewhere. Uh, there's also the Journal of Tar Heel. I'm not sure if that's uh, any of any importance to me, so I'm going to keep that for now. 
Uh, do I have any other books? The Locked Room? Have I actually read that one? That okay. What I'm going to I'm going to just check that the lock. Sorry, I'm going to read a book. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't doesn't actually interest me. I was just cu curious if it had any uh, ability bonuses for me. Anyway, is there anything else that I might be able to sell? Oh yes, definitely the soul trap stuff. Uh, you probably accept these scrolls, don't you? That's actually a little bit too much. So I'm only able to sell you just a couple of these. Actually, I once again did that wrong. What I should have done is I should have... I'm just going to give you... what, five? Yeah, I, I, that's about as much as you can buy. So that that's very nice. So now I'm actually starting to do quite well on the money front. So I have 2,000 septims and I just paid the dues for Manwe. So I'm actually very happy about that. Uh, is there anyone that happens to buy... This is a clothes shop, isn't it? Yes, an outfitter. So these guys probably don't buy uh, jewelry. There's a pawnbroker here. Maybe you will be interested in some em emeralds and diamonds. At least you seem to be able to buy these, so I'm just going to buy... Well, well, I'm just going to sell a bunch of this stuff for a very cheap price. And you can also buy that stuff, I don't care. Divine Intervention, that I want to keep. The Korean Flight is always useful. I kind of want to keep the Scroll of Invisibility, who knows, it might actually work. Scroll of Lesser Domination... I don't need Domination. And Red Despair... I don't really need that, so you can keep that stuff. And I have some... you can take the ring too, why not, I don't really need the ring. I only need the rings that have some sort of a magical magical thingy. And I actually need to fix up my armor too at some point. Mm, how about the ghoul hearts? That might actually be very interesting for you. There we go. So that's even more stuff for me. So yeah, now I'm actually doing very well in terms of money. 2,800 septims. I think that's the highest amount of money I have had so far. Um, what I'm going to do, that's the outfitter, I'm going to visit the armor because I think I need some extra armor. One of my pieces of armor is light armor and that's not really useful. So um, here's that thing, I don't need it, it's also worth basically nothing. And I also have these weapons that I need to sell. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is, which is the part of my armor that I currently lack. I have the helm... Okay, so basically what I don't have are the pauldrons. So I need the left and the right pauldron to fulfill my armor. So I'm going to buy those. Uh, you don't... Th I don't think you have any... Actually, you do have better armor. But this is really expensive. Like the the drogue stuff. It's very expensive, but I'm guessing Yeah, it's also very good. So I'm almost tempted to buy a shield of that stuff. But I think we're we will probably be able to get uh slightly well I I'm fairly sure we will be get we will eventually get better stuff than this for free if we just find the right dungeons. Um so yeah, I think that that's basically... I'm going to buy that, thank you. And then I need... Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I need to find someone to sell all of my weapons to. I'm not exactly sure if the... I mean, Balmora has to have some sort of... Oh, right, actually, uh, but Ravir is already dry. Yeah, Ravir had some weapons, but I cannot sell any of that stuff now because Ravir doesn't have any money. Okay. 
Uh, what do you have? Oh, this is just eight plates. Maybe I can sell that stuff to... Do, 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 to the fighter skill? You'd think that they would also have a tr some sort of a trader. I mean, fighting is the very purpose of this guild. So, so yeah, no, I don't care. Uh, what do you sell? Oh, you seem to be dealing in weapons. So, uh, here's an iron longsword. A silver longsword too. A battle axe. And a steel broadsword, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to keep the spark sword. That's for me. And uh, this is worth basically nothing. But it's not like I'm going to carry it around. So have that. And that's actually fairly good. Yeah, that's that's all. Thank you. I'm going to just return to my guild now. Okay, so I'm actually doing fairly well here. I have a little bit more armor. I look kind of ridiculous in this stuff, but hey, what can you do? I managed to shave off a lot of weight. And that's, you know, I'm talking about loot. I'm not talking about my character being fat or anything like that. And I have a fair bit of money, so this is actually going very well. So now there is that one quest. So um, there is an Argonian in the south wall corner club that I need to stop doing the unsanctioned training. So let's go to the south wall and fix that stuff. Because obviously, like, you can probably see that the Mages Guild is... Well, it's an interesting organization because it's basically... They think that they have sort of exclusive rights to all kind of, basically, everything magic. And they are also very inclined to kill anyone that happens to, you know, you know, stand in their way. So, yeah, let's let's go and um, fix this. What say you? I don't say anything. I'm not talking to you. Screw you. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. So now we need to find an Argonian somewhere around here. And that's just back to Balmora. There's a lock level 50 in here. I kind of want to go in there. At some point we might just go and rob basically every house in here. We just need... I don't care about you, so make it... Shut up. Hello, Sugar Lips. Because that's literally your name. I don't think you're, you're the Argonian that I'm looking for, so... That's a Khajiit, so... Mm. But that there is actually an Argonian. And the thing is, I'm a little bit worried that this might go wrong, because surprisingly many of the Mages Guild quests... No, I don't. I actually need to talk to this Argonian, but thank you. This might actually go wrong, because some surprisingly many, surprisingly many of the quests involve some kind of... Uh, some kind of violence. Anyway... You need to stop your unsanctioned training. What if hypothetically you were to return to Ronis and tell her that I agreed to stop any unsanctioned training? I suppose that if you did that, I decided to offer my training to you. I mean... Uh, I mean, I kind of might need restoration training. And, uh, well, I mean, if they find out that I didn't actually stop the unsanctioned training, I mean, this is a very difficult moral question. Uh, do I actually need training in restoration? I think I'm probably good. Yeah, you just need to stop. You know what you must do? I'm prepared to die. Okay. Um, but the thing... Best. Apparently this guy doesn't like me anymore. The thing is, if I kill this person, isn't that kind of illegal because he hasn't attacked me? Well, I'm going to slap you with some fire and maybe, maybe that will work. I probably should have saved before doing that 
speech thing, but hey. Okay, yes, this isn't exactly going right, is it? Yeah, everyone here is a little bit angry with me. That's that's what I was kind of afraid of. The prey approaches. Mm, how do I f how do I do this? Okay, sure. I'm going to just let you continue because it's not like I can kill you. Okay, so now I just need to report back and and then I can get some training from that guy. Okay, well that works. Can you get out of my way? Yeah, that 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 didn't go too well. Basically, the that guy doesn't attack you apparently. So you need to attack them because they are not going to stop offering that training without you killing them. And if you attack them, then all of a sudden everyone turns on you. And I don't think that guy just wanders around too much. I don't think that's a thing that uh, happens with too many of the AIs. I don't think they just have a home or something and then they go there and go back to the Walk corner the club. I did stop it. I have totally stopped it. Okay, so uh, anything else? Apparently there's a... Okay, so you want notes. Uh, doesn't know his way around, he wants to be escorted to the halfway tavern in Pelagia, I don't care if he makes it or not. I just want a copy of his notes. Should be waiting at the eight plates. So you do do you want me to kill him or or this person? I don't I cannot like I mean the name is Iter Merrill and I can't really tell. So do you want me to kill them or I mean I can probably. Well let's go and find out what is happening in in eight plates. And I'm probably not going to... Yeah, it's getting late, so I'm probably not going to escort that person during the night. That sounds a little bit dangerous, but... I mean, walking someone to Pelagiad, which is like... Uh, well, pier. Uh, not exactly a long way. There might be some guys on the way. The quest might spawn some guys that I need to take care of, but doesn't sound too dangerous. I'm just going to go and talk to the... Ah, this is not... This is not the south wall. This is the south wall. So, um, I'm going to just go and talk to the... Make way, make way, make way, make way. Make way. I need to just talk to this Argonian about my training. So give me some training. This, These are... These prizes are actually quite... Yes, I want training. Can you give me training? These prizes are still pretty bad. Maybe I should have killed you. <sighs> well... At least I told them that you stopped. And seriously, nobody with with, with those prizes, nobody's going to buy any training from you. Now, those actually might be just slightly lower than the major skill prizes, but I think I can just train on my own without that person at all. Okay, let's go to 8 plates and... Uh, well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably wait. Quickly. I'm going to rest, and then I'm going to escort that one person. I just need to find eight plates, which which was somewhere around there. So, but I don't want to escort them in the night. The darkness isn't nice. That's the bookseller, and wasn't I think this was eight plates here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest somewhere around here for a while. So uh, 10 hours should be plenty. There we go. And now I need to find Itermeral. Oh, you seem to be the person. Wait a second. Yes, I'm your guide. I'm totally your guide. What about your notes? Apparently you will give me them in Pelagia, possibly. Well, 
just follow me. We are going to go all the way to Pelagia, to the halfway tavern. Just don't die on the way. Well, actually, if you die on the way, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because I might just be able to pick up the notes, and this is all about the notes. I mean, escorting you to uh, Pelagia is just a... It's, it's just a sort of a side thing. Uh, we're just going to... I'm not going to jump down, just in case, you know. You never know if this person might just fall down the freaking that uh, bridge type thing and break his neck. Or, well, her neck, I suppose. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk towards Pelagia now, and if something happens, I'm just going to show that to you, but if not, then we will see in Pelagia. So, see you guys then.